Welcome back to Huchos. Now, irrigation can be a real irritation. So today, I'll be showing you how to make one of these. This is an Oya. 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 I'll show you what you need to make it. Now, an Oya is an ancient form of irrigation that uses clay pots as a form of of water container that leaches water out into the garden beds over a period of time. Here in Queensland, we get long periods without rain, high temperatures and low humidity, which makes this form of irrigation perfect for our climate. Let's get started. So today you'll need 16 clay pots, uh, one for the top and one for the bottom of your oya. We'll also be using uh, roof gutter and concrete silicon um, that's non-toxic. We'll need some metal discs. If you can get metal discs without a hole in the center, they will be ideal. But these ones only have a small hole and we'll be using that to fill the bottom hole on the bottom half of our oya. You'll also need a caulking gun so that you can cork out your silicon. All right, let's get started. Now to begin with, we're going to uh, silicon on the metal disc to half of the amount of oyas you're creating. Um, with the disc on the inside, and creating a silicon plug on the bottom. Look at that silicon job. <laughs> so professional. This is the part where I tell you it doesn't need to be perfect, but you'll probably do a better job than me. <clears throat> One down. Eight to go. Alrighty, now that our bottoms are sealed, uh, we're going to join the top and the bottom section by siliconing around the rim and joining them together like that. There we go. Now we'll just let our silicon dry and we'll start digging some holes in the meantime. Now the best place to put your oya is where the radius contains the most plants that the water can seep out and irrigate. So I'll be digging one in here where it reaches all of the plants surrounding it. So 
So I'll be varying the Ouya with the silicon seal on the bottom down and um, covering it to the top and I'll be sealing it over the top with just a stone um, to stop evaporation from the water inside. Now, the way that we use work is through capillary action. Um, the water inside tries to find its way out into the dry soil around. And this is a really good way of controlled release um, into the soil for the water. And if you want, you can put nutrients in here as well. Um, just nothing too granular um, that's going to clog up the pores um, in the jars. So we'll pop it in here. And now we can just fill the soil back in around it and mulch up to the edges. And now all that's left to do is fill it with water. We'll also just pop a stone on top. Um, this stops evaporation and um, limits any mosquitoes that want to get in and breed in the water. Well, that's one done. Now I better dig a few more holes. There you go. That's how you do irrigation without irritation. I'll see you next time on Who Chose.